Yo. What's up, everybody? I think I made myself a little too bright now. There we go. <laughs> Rage Kids 20 here, back with our final song of the day of new bands I have never listened to before. Today we have Spirit Box, Rule of Nines, which sounds ominous and cool. Um, <clears throat> never heard of this group. Uh, I was looking up the Spirit Box song to listen to, to get introduced to and whatnot. And this one was actually not in the tops. It was like always in one of the top tens, but it was always like mid to lower. However, I saw a Reddit post and like literally everyone was like, no, 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 rule of nines, rule of nines, rule of nines. Like everyone was like, yeah, oh, that's the one, that's the one, that's the one, that's the one I was introduced to, but that's the one. <clears throat> so this seems like a hidden OP. Spirit box song. Like the seeker, like, nah. That's the one you listen to. Kind of like Bad Omens. Kingdom Cards. That's the one you want to listen to, man. That's the shit. I mean, there's a lot of good Bad Omens songs. So you can't really go wrong with a lot of them. But still, like, it's the hidden OP. Like, this one's, like, really, really good. It's not, like, one of the music video main ones. Like, I think it's something like that. But this one actually is a music video. But still. Uh, so, yeah, got good hopes for Spirit Box. I think it's a female singer. I think there's also screaming involved <clears throat> at some point. Sounds fucking cool. Uh, <laughs> but with like all these just on the off chance that uh, I do not like what I hear, I will let you know. Now I'll try to do in the most uh, productive or constructive, not productive, well maybe productive, but the most constructive way I possibly can and uh, try not to be too brutal about it. But you know, at the end of the day, if I don't like something, you're going to know. So uh, if you... Uh, if you're, of course, one of them delicate, delicate little snowflakes, uh, there is an X button up at the top, and you can just postpone or uh, deny yourself from getting triggered. But if you're here for it, I'm here for it. I'm excited. Uh, this looks creepy. <sighs> like we're about to get into it. We got some dripping oozy water. No, it's just light. Looks like water dripping down, but that's the light. I see now. But yeah. No, it, it looks like it can be a good time. So let's. Get it, Rule of Nine, Spirit Box.
Oh, that's the end of the song. Um. <sighs> yeah, people. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm losing my mind because I've been at this for a couple hours. Um. And maybe I'm just starting to lose it here near the end. Um, or if it was just from the song itself. <sighs> there. <laughs> I'm a loss for words, man. Like, there were so many elements of that that was really good. But there was also this really floofy airiness to it. There was a lot of weird tonality in her vocals that sounded like she was trying to sing really, really breathily. That was just giving this weird feeling through my ears. Uh, and then she would break out of this like fucking epic screaming, which was really cool. And there was some interesting instrumental stuff going on, but like, it was all just so fucking bizarre. And I don't know if that's the point of the band or the song, but it was just something about, it was just so fucking weird. And I couldn't wrap my head around what was happening. But there was like a part of it I really liked. I don't know how I feel about what I just heard. Like, I, I'm sure I'll have a more clear, concise viewpoint when we go back through it, but I was just kind of at a loss. What was what was happening musically and in the video. Okay. <laughs> Um, anything, let's see, what, what came to me here, um, again, the vocals had this weird, breathy, airy whoopiness to it, it was almost like she had this extremely thick accent that was making it really hard for her to sing, but like, it also stylistically was like really cool at the same time. I like loved it, and I have no idea if I disliked it or not. At the same exact time, like I may have disliked it, but I also may have really loved it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there was that going on. Uh, it looked like. I assume the bassist had a had a, a a multi more than the four bass string standard bass bass and whatnot. That was pretty cool, but it also looked like he was picking the bass. So I'm very disappointed uh, in that because I, I don't know. I'm against that. I don't know why. It just to me, it just comes across lazy. Even though I know technically it could be used to, for a certain sound or effect or whatnot, I still think like if if you're picking a bass, man, I think you're just being lazy personally. That, but that's me. Um, <laughs> so that was really cool, but then also kind of disappointing at the same time. Um, man, what just happened? happened to my ears okay um do i got anything in here there was some very cool rhythms very 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 cool rhythms no idea what that says oh creepy yeah 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 they had this really creepy sound going on in the guitar riff in there at the start that was cool uh more of the rhythm changes start straight up screaming which is cool uh the chorus um Pretty heavy breakdown in the middle there. Um, let's see if I can make any sense of what the f <laughs> what the f 
fuck? I just heard. All right. Um, I was like, again, that was so cool. That was so weird. <laughs> and not just visually. There was, there was just so much that happened that was so weird. I think. Unless I'm just losing my mind. Which is always a possibility, by the way. I swear one of these days I'm just going to snap and lose it. For one reason or another. We'll see. <laughs> maybe this maybe this is the moment. Maybe it just happened. I don't know. Um, okay. And I'll start from the very beginning. Let's let's piece this one together. It's right out of the gate. That screech sound there. <laughs> uh, sounds like maybe it's coming from a keyboard or something. Some kind of synthesized sound. Ominous. Creepy. Scary. Long creep creepy dark hallway. Great creating the atmosphere right out the gate of something's fucked up. I like that. It's very interesting. It looks like blood, but it also with all these specks and bubbles and, and these things and that, I could also see this being some kind of like jam. Like some kind of berry jam. But uh, very cool. Okay, again, more of that ominous, creepy atmosphere. Yeah, let me see your instruments there. One, two, three, four, five. Again, the bases of streams. I don't know anymore. I don't know what's reality or not anymore. Yes, okay. So bases are at least what it's looking like, what it looks like it's showing me here today. Yes, it looks like most bases are standard four strings. Okay, so that, uh, that's five strings. That is a five string bass right there. Very cool. That's also fucking Pickens' hand. <laughs> How dare you, sir? But whatever. It's fine. Keep it going. Uh, the, 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 the rhythm right out of the gate, now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm really focusing in, um, I'm getting some ginger vibes from the kind of uh, the very, the more complicated, complex um, time signatures and rhythms and uh, make up to this rhythm and riff here. I'm getting definitely some ginger vibes from that, and with some of the harsh metalness to it. Yeah, I kind of like the uh, the chaotic nature of this riff and whatnot. Uh, you can hear that there is a pattern in the riff, but with all the kind of random hits hitting at different beats in the measure, and not just uh, not just emphasizing the same beat every measure. It's it's creating this very chaotic disjunct uh, rhythm, which is pretty cool. So first, uh, also has this very creepy sound to it, but the, the, the sound we're about to hear. And that, and then that just, that like almost alien sounding tone to it, like, they are just, they are doing a great job within the first 30 seconds of this video, establishing the creepiness and the, 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 the darkness of What's going on here? <laughs> and of course her blank stare and slow blinking doesn't help <laughs> with that imagery. Which is good. Uh, that's exactly what should be happening here. I didn't mean that to sound bad. I know that's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so again, yeah, I, I didn't. I, th I thought I was losing my mind for a second. I was like, "There's no way it was that breathy, right?" I was exaggerating. No, <laughs> no, it's it really breathy. Um, now I can I can understand breathy accents for emotion and, and effect and whatnot. This is an entire breathy phrase so far. Like it sounds like that's just the way she sings, but maybe again. This is my first exposure, so probably not. Possibly not. Uh, it's just 
Okay, well, let, me, let, me, let me let it keep cooking here. Okay, it's a stare. <laughs> it's unsettling. First off, I like the little rising inflection on try. Just that nice little slide up there. Uh, the slowdown on Broken Roots Entwined was creepy. <laughs> They're doing a really great job with this creepy, scary atmosphere. It's just, with all the breathiness, it's very unsettling. I don't know how to feel about this. Hold oh, the hold 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 on. Let's go to the timeout. Let's go to the timeout there. Let's back that bitch up real fast. Um, did she? If I'm working these lyrics uh, lyrics correctly, I feel my insides breaking down. I bury it in time. Did she blend the word down and slide it into I die? <laughs> like is that is that what she just did? Hold on, let me hear that again. Kinda of like the upward inflection. Like I, I, I do like the way she's playing with these notes here. Okay, that 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 is pretty cool. I, I will give you that. I do like that. I know for a fact I do like that. Breaking down. <laughs> See you there. All right, all right, all right. Let's just keep going. So weird. I love it. And she kind of blurs the vocal line blur. It's like she kind of slurs and drags it a little bit. It almost like blur the word in the note as she's saying will blur the line. I want to get that again. Let's make sure I ain't tripping. That what I heard there. <laughs> that is. That is artistic. That is an artistic choice right there, and I support it. But it's just adding on to the fact that this... This vocal line is so... Different. It's so out of... So much about it is really questioning... My reality? It's... It's, it's like... It just feels so different from what we consider the norm. That my ears are just like don't like what they're hearing but at the same time i'm loving it because it's so weird and unique and just different than what you expect to hear when it comes to like tonality and whatnot like it's almost like she's abandoning tonality and just it, it almost it, it it almost could be perceived as like not taking it seriously, but I feel like that's the exact opposite of what's going on here. But like, I feel like that's the information that the ears are trying to translate here is just like, oh, this is you know, like the ears are taking it in, just like, nah, this is not this is not correct singing. This is weird. But like, but like, God, because of that, it's so artistic and unique. There's a lot going on here. It wasn't just it wasn't just me losing my mind, which also probably also part of it. But no, there's 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 a reason my ears got overloaded with what the fuck am I hearing? Like she's doing a lot of things to really fuck with what you are used to hearing and what you expect to hear. And again, I don't know if I'm absolutely in love with it or if I dislike it. Because, like, my ears want to dislike it, but because it's so 
interesting and intriguing. I kind of love it. Uh, all right. With those things, like we're about to go to chorus. You're right. Am I right? I'm right. <sighs> I've written down here. Uh, okay. Some. Okay. I actually want to go back a little bit here because I think I. I don't know if I hit it or not. So we'll go back and then we'll skip forward. Because uh, I talked about a rhythm around 45 seconds in, and I don't know if I mentioned it. I assume it's a vocal rhythm, but I don't know. So let me actually. We want to hear. Let's, let's try to catch that. Mmm, the drums. I mean, a little bit her vocal rhythm as well. Uh. It feels a little bit like she's uh, pull, like playing with it. She's like pulling it, stretching it, and pushing it at certain points, slowing it down, speeding it up just freely, which the instruments are giving her the opportunity to do by just kind of having just open, kind of non necessarily non rhythmic tones to them, uh, except for the drums. Just tss, 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 uh, that's kind of keeping a beat going and whatnot. But there's it's just kind of this openness, kind of this freeness to the the beat and the rhythm so she can just kind of play with it as she sees fit um but no yeah the drums the drums on that symbol is what's creating that unique rhythm that i wrote down it, it's almost like it's a constant triplet rhythm going on but it also sounds like it's like maybe like trying to ride a little bit ahead of the beat like pushing the tempo a little bit, but not actually speeding up. Like being being ahead of the beat instead of on the beat or behind the beat. It seems like it's ahead of the beat. So not only does it sound like this pulsing triplet rhythm, but also at the same time he's like he's edging on pushing the tempo. I, I'm here for it. Let's go. You hear that moment where it kind of like has that interesting hiccup in there? That's what the fuck. My down. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna move ahead here around one oh nine, and we're gonna listen to this chorus because I just I just can't right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really cool rhythm. I don't know what's happening there. It feels like it's maybe a like I, I go. So it feels like a, maybe it depends a bit depending on what the tempo is. It could be like a quarter note, um, triple, or it could just be a more complicated uh, uh, meter. I don't know. Uh, it could be a more complicated time signature. I have no idea. Anyways, chorus. Let's yep, yep let's hear it. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> Do you hear that sound? That weird whirling pitch in there that again sounds so foreign and alien like and again quite creepy and monstrous. What the hell was that? That kind of sound going on in there. That's right. This, this did not help. This is also had more confusion because we, we we clearly landed on what would probably be the course, and it, it is. Uh, and I thought like here we're gonna get a little bit more structure, a little bit more like normality. And she just starts out with the breathiest, most open eye. She probably could possibly muster, <laughs> which just makes it even weirder. <laughs> it's like every structure I know about Western music is being challenged. <laughs> and it is fascinating. It's also extremely off-putting, but it's also fascinating at the same time. I love it and I hate it. 
but I hate it because I love it. I don't know. <laughs> it's not making any sense in here. Okay, let's. Sorry. Let's let's see how far we can get through the course before another thing happens. Like that sound that uh, it sounds like it's coming from a keyboard but it looks like he's doing it on his guitar so it very easily could be some kind of distortion uh, uh, amplified effect of some kind uh, but yeah I have that you know kind of sound going on there that's pretty cool <sighs> keep going I like that. No, I like I like those little those little pitch falls or rises that she does at the end of end of these lines. That is that is awesome. That is really really cool. So first off, I like. I just like that line in general. I had a dream of schism, forced the row of nines. I just, I just, that just makes me think. It just like paints a picture. It's really cool. Um, so I knew that, the, as I mentioned before it started, I knew that there was some screaming in here. I did not know if the girl was going to be doing it or not. I don't know any of their names at the bottom of this lyric website. It says writers Courtney and Michael. So I assume Courtney's the girl sing in here but i don't know <laughs> so since i don't fully know i'm not gonna make assumptions and start calling her courtney uh so i'll just refer to her as the lead singer um <clears throat> i didn't know if it was gonna be her or one of someone else in the band uh doing it uh but i assumed it would be her and i assumed correctly uh so yeah i i had read in other places about you know screaming and uh, harsh vocal breakdowns and stuff like that so i would uh, it, it didn't it wasn't like whoa for me but that is definitely a breaking point if like if you never heard this band you knew nothing about this band researched nothing went into it and all like not only is it just challenging all of your beliefs of what music has ever been uh at least a good portion of it like just the beginning of the course is super weird but the rest of the course is pretty f standard <laughs> a little bit airy and uh swooshy <laughs> but uh definitely more standard more tried and true uh but a lot of this is just not um but yeah that drop there where she starts screaming that uh, that would as that's that's almost as impressive as the uh as the tatiana and pisces live session hook there when she starts screaming that just everyone's like whoa you know that would have the same effect really cool just switch turn on there that is that is sick I love that combo there. First off, I, in time I learned the rules of a say This is just that's one hell of a bar right there. I love that. But I love in time. Next next line entwined. In time entwined. As as clever. That's just that's just clever writing right there. I like that. I like that. Anyways. <laughs> I like that. Da 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 da. I like that rhythm there. I like that. Uh, nothing left to strain. No, no body full of pain. I like the rhyme scheme in there. I like how those words flow the same, and so it's, it both has the same rhythm on it. And I like the rhythm in general. That's is this 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 especially the screaming section here. Really clever writing going on here. Ooh, 
Wah. I like how she uses the space in her mouth to kind of create that that rising Wah sound. That's really cool. That's really really cool. <laughs> So that when I when I heard that part, I was you know already a little shook by the song. I was like, did she say what I think she said? And I looked at, it, I was like, yeah, that's um, like I'm sure that that that, that has a, has a meaning to it, and she there's a reason why she's saying that. But when I just it's just I just hear the line, I lay myself down in the shape of body. It's like, yeah, it's just kind of how it works when you are in fact a body and you lay down, you will in fact be laying down in the shape of a body. That is, that is you know. Uh, but of course, the line right after that, I live in the figurative, like, yeah, that's clever. That's clever. <laughs> I like that. I just threw my mind, just threw my mind through it. It was like, yeah, no, that, that's pretty much how it works. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's really cool. Double line there. I like that. Anyways, let's let it keep going. There's something going on there. Hold on. I uh, <laughs> just thrown by again the kind of airy, swishy breathiness of the way she's singing. It sounds like she has a harmony, and it sounds like uh, uh, harmonizing with herself in there. It sounds like the other harmony has this very, uh, very interesting vocal effect on it in in, in the production, um, and it has this nice kind of droning like hum to it. With that beautiful tone in there, let me let me see if I was catching that correctly. There it is. No, 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 no. That nice, nice droning hum to that. It's very faint. It's very quiet. It's kind of rumbling at the bottom of the ear, but it's it's a nice sound when you hear it. This whole song, especially certain sections of the verses and whatnot, are so trippy. They're so trippy and airy and just... It's, it's just messing with your ears and your brain. And again, I think that's very intentional. I think that's the point. It's just... It's blowing my mind right now. This is... It, it, it's so weird. <laughs> and... You know what? I kind of love it. I'm not even going to lie to you. I kind of love how much this is just fucking with my head. And it's cool. Like, I love how open the section of open up my mind sounds. Like, it's, there, there's some really clever writing going on in here. I, I ain't going to hold you. That's beautiful. God damn, these nice little vocalizations she's doing is really cool. So that time she did not blur the word blur. Very interesting. Just a note. Here. So weird. And the, the bass, just like the sounds, the very stringy slap sounds, but also the, the kind of the quick rapidness of it is a very interesting, interesting sound there. I like how it's switching back and forth between just these heavy punching downbeats dum 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 and then dum, 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 just kind of this it's almost like it's like floating for a second and then it comes back to earth dum 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 and then it floats again as as very interesting switching back and forth between those two sounds there
Yeah, and I forgot the breakdowns at the very end of the song. That uh, threw me off as well, too. Uh, right at the end of the chorus, just start screaming. And literally every word, every note, it's a solid, heavy downbeat. That is a sick fucking breakdown right there. And of course, everything just starts swirling back up and whatnot. And just everything starts reversing in the video. It's so fascinating. <laughs> so fascinating. That's so cool. So premonition, obviously, pre ma. I mean, you could uh, premon, premonition. I assume it's four syllables, or I'm adding an extra syllable in there, and it's just three syllables. I assume it's four syllables. Yeah, it would be, at least she said it in four syllables. <laughs> so, I like you breaking out dun 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 dun, and doing that premonition. <laughs> so, so you can go back to the punching everyone even though premonition has too many syllables to just hit one downbeat there that's a clever workaround on that there that's pretty cool and this is a pretty intense screaming going on here this is some really deep guttural vocal fry going on she's getting even deeper with it that's crazy it just kind of stops. Learn to give, and then that creepy sound, and just it's just done. It's just quickly done. As quickly as it came, it's done. I don't. I I I I don't. You understand? <laughs> I don't understand what just happened. I still haven't fully grasped what I just listened to. But I think I liked it. I'm pretty sure I liked it. It was like it was it was it was good. Again, there's a lot of clever writing going on in there. Um some nice complicated rhythms and stuff going on from the instruments. Um great vocals weird vocals but the still great <laughs> great tone quality great sound to them great energy like there's a lot to like in there it, was, it just blew my mind away is this like is this how they do all their songs or is it just just this one you know what i mean i don't know but now i have a feeling like i gotta find out so i imagine there'll be more <laughs> from spirit box here don't know when but eventually there will be more so thank you for joining me here today i gotta go rethink things that i thought i knew about music and i will see you all next time